You guys want to hear the truth on that? Yeah. Okay, they asked us to play it, and I'm not a NASCAR fan. I don't know. Anybody that knows me knows that I don't ever even turn the TV on. I don't watch any sport. Um, so they said, hey, will you do this thing? And I said, no. And it was mostly just because it was a little tiny club, and I don't know who that guy is. That's where it started. And then it wasn't that much money, and then I got to look it in, and he's doing okay. So then I said no again. And, uh, and then he wrote us a letter and, uh, and just said, hey, I'm a big fan, and I listen to your music in my car, and you know, I, would, uh, I would just love for you to come out and open this club for me. It's just going to be drivers, and we just want you to play for like 45 minutes and then party with us all night. And uh, if you do that, this is what sold me. He said, if you do that, I'll make a personal appearance for you and I'll donate, I won't tell you how much, but it was a lot of damn money to any charity that you want. <laughs> that combo with David Steele really likes racing and cars. And I'm not exaggerating, those are all the factors that went into it to where we finally said, okay, we'll do it. And uh, ended up, he was a great guy. Um, we ended up actually hanging with him until like probably six, seven in the morning. We were hung over forever after that. Um, but a great crew. They invited us out to Talladega. Um, we went out and watched that race. That was my first NASCAR race. So I spent my first NASCAR race actually in Dale Earnhardt's pit, sitting up in the little skybox with the headset on, able to talk to him. So that was my first NASCAR race. And it was cool. So awesome. that was it, um, and we opened this club, and uh, and we're all friends. We're all friends. Go ahead, open the back. I, I don't know either one. It's just one more thing to ride up your ass. It's, and my jeans are clean. That's all you need to know. Oh my God, he's commando. Go ahead. Brittany. I could sing with anybody who would it be. You know, I think I've got to sing with everybody um, that I was like my my targets. Um, but it's always fun to play with other people. I don't really have any any, any major one in my head. What about a duet? Over here. A duet? Yeah. Ever? Um, I'm not opposed to it. You know what? I, I just heard a duet that killed me that I thought, wow, I'm surprised we haven't had that sooner. It was a divorce duet. When she's at my house, and who was it? Tim McGraw? Reba and Kenny? It was a good idea. That whole deal, that was a good song. And that was my take on duets. It's got to make sense. See, like, that made sense to me. If somebody, like, or if I wrote something that, that I could see singing with somebody, that it made sense to have an opposite side or a relationship song, that'd be very cool. I was a big Conway Loretta fan. You know what? I have offered to do a crosswords with Tom Petty. What do you think of that? They've asked me several times who I do things with, and they've tried to set up several that I've said no to, but that's one that I've pitched to them. Go ahead. Have I ever been? To Graceland. Absolutely. I've been, yeah. I've been there both drunk and sober in the middle of the night and during the day. What? She has a question for David. Go ahead. Have you got a call from your brother? Your car broke down. Yeah! And my brother's friend fixed your car. Wow. The car guy. That is so crazy. <laughs> Is it still running? We had to get a rental car to come here. Awesome. Well, I, I can't speak for my brother's friend. He may not be a very good friend. <laughs> Glad you made it. Though. Good stuff. All right. One more, and then I'll try to break it up with a song. Um, Chicken and Cowboy Hat, way back there. Uh, there is no story behind smoke rings because I didn't write it. Uh, Rivers Rutherford wrote it. Um, it was brought to me. It was brought to me the day after he wrote it on a cassette. And usually, if you find those songs, you know it 
to me that was a smash. So uh, it never it never got to be demoed. It came right to me, and I said, just let's just stick that one in my pocket. We'll play. You want to hear smoke rings?